passport. 17% of white men and women, greater than the national average in Wisconsin, have no photo ID. 55% of all African American males in Wisconsin have no driver's license and photo ID. 49% of African American women, 49% of Hispanic men, 59% of Hispanic women, and when you get to the 18 to 24 year old group, 78% of African American males have no photo ID of this type. 66% of African American women aged 18 to 24 have, do not have this photo ID. Uh, we think that this is a, uh, and, and so one of the debates that Governor Scott Walker used to always have with me during the times that he was trying to institute this voter ID is what's wrong with having a photo ID? You need a photo ID to go buy liquor. You need a photo ID to go to Blockbusters to get a video. You need a photo ID these times to go to the pharmacy to get cough medicine. Mm. Well, you want to know something? Getting a, a video from Blockbusters is not a constitutional right. Amen. Getting liquor from the liquor store is not a constitutional right. And I sure wish, and I offered this to the governor several years before he became the governor, let's work together and make health care right for a photo ID. But right now, the bar, the bar ought to be extremely high to disenfranchise people, and we, we are calling upon the Justice Department to intervene and to prevent uh, this from happening. Unfortunately, down south Wisconsin belongs on this map of shame as one of the eight states in red where strict, stringent voter ID requirements uh, are, are being implemented.